A flood of tips just came in and I've never heard of anything like this before. But apparently there are hundreds of bots doing Wilderness Slayer right now. Specifically in the Wilderness Cave. The tips all said they were seen at the Greater Demons. Obviously I go to check it out and on literally the first world I checked, I found one. It's a low level, using a bone crossbow with blue dehyde, basic ranged and defense stats with lowish level slayer. Also, the bot has 55 agility. I gear up my peer and go to the spot to hop into the world with the bot, but in the world that I'm in on my peer already, there are two other bots there. They're dressed identically to the first bot, and they don't run or teleport when they see me but I'm also on Scald. I can actually only attack one of them because the other one is one level too low. As soon as I do attack the bot, the other one disappears. It doesn't really attempt to escape and pretty easily I KO it. The crazy thing though is the loot. I'm expecting like 50K, right? Some bone crossbow, dehyde set. Look at it, 1.6 million GP. The bot has two Trover parchments on it from the Wildy Slayer drops. That's so insanely unlikely to get two of these parchments off of one task, they're 700k each. Maybe it's a new script and it doesn't bank the loot that frequently? That would make sense, I've never heard of it before. I lose my skull on my peer and rush back, get another easy kill since I'm unsculled again. But you'll soon see that if you're sculled, you have to be tick perfect to attack them before they teleport out. Meanwhile, on my scout, I'm seeing lots of bots. Most worlds have one or two. Some even have up to three bots. Look at this world right here. One of the bots also is in black dehyde with a rune crossbow, so it looks like they're automatically upgrading their gear as they go. I kill the bot in black dehyde and it actually puts up a fight. It uses protection prayers and runs away, but still an easy kill. The loot, still shockingly good. The first loot key says 100k, but it has a Laren's key in it, and those go for 130k more than the GE listed price. So this loot is actually 240k. And the second key, 180k from a magic shortbow scroll the bot must have got as a drop. I'm loving killing these bots because the loot is so variable. Like most bots drop super consistent small to medium amounts of loot, but this could range so far from 150k to 1.6 mil. And as I'm killing them more tips are coming in. The bots are also at black demons apparently as well. I'm sure they're going to be spreading across the entire wilderness soon for us to hunt down. But man, I got so excited from discovering this bot farm, I'm getting hungry. Let me introduce to you Magic Spoon. This cereal is fueling and high quality, with 13 to 14 grams of protein, 4 to 5 grams of net carbs, and 0 grams of sugar. The cereal reminds me of the cereals I had when I was growing up, but reinvented with more protein, less sugar. The variety pack comes with 4 flavors, cocoa, fruity, frosted, and peanut butter. I did a taste test of all of them, and personally, my favorite is cocoa. They all taste great, but I really love chocolate. It's also keto friendly gluten-free, grain-free, and soy-free. Also, just a note about cereal in general, it makes such a great snack. It takes 10 seconds to prepare and is so satisfying to eat. Doesn't your mouth just water looking at this bite? So click the link below to grab a variety pack and try Magic Spoon today. Be sure to use promo code SIRPUGGER at checkout to get $5 off any order or go to magicspoon.com slash SIRPUGGER. You can also scan the QR code on screen. Magic Spoon is so confident in their product, it's backed with a 100% happiness guarantee. So if you don't like it for any reason, they'll refund your money, no questions asked. Thanks to Magic Spoon for sponsoring this video. So like I said, the Slayer bots are expanding to Black Demons, and I found plenty of them there. These seem to be the two Slayer tasks the bots are doing mainly. I guess they only have like 20 to 50 Slayer, and they're the most common tasks, so that makes sense. Now with a scout, I can land a Teleblock on the bots in one tick. They teleport in what seems like two ticks of seeing a Scald player. I killed another five in like four minutes. This time, four of them had loot between 60 to 80k, but one had 530k worth of loot if you count the Laren key at its true value. You actually don't even need to hop worlds though to kill these bots. There are so many, and they're hopping worlds when they see PKers, so they'll hop to you. Once they log in, you have a few ticks to teleblock them, so you can just sit in a world and literally let them come to you and kill them. This is the next day, by the way, and most of the bots have leveled up to red or black dehyde. I'm guessing they're starting to spread out across the wilderness to the other tasks as well. I got five more keys. We've got a 70k, a 90k, 170k, 80k, and 165k. Not bad for five minutes. Another five killed, another five keys. On my way down, I swung by a bot at the black demons I had scouted and wiped it out. These ones might actually have better loot because they're killing the demons. 
We've got two trash loots, but also 115k and two 130ks. And one more day later, it looks like all of these accounts have been banned. But what a fun bot farm to kill. I decided to gamble and open some Laren's chests with the keys I got from the bots, and of course the game scammed me. It's good that anti-cheating team wiped out the farm before they leveled up and got a lot more efficient though. Wildy Slayer can be very profitable GP per hour. I started getting tip-offs about this bot farm in 2021. That's how elusive they are. Almost always in an instance spread across worlds. I only recently captured footage of them for the first time. A DM on Twitter said they saw a suspicious account doing temple trekking on World 374. I rushed to Mauritania and pretty quickly found an account there that fit the description but not the one from the tip-off. Honestly, it just really looked like a bot. Full rune with a rune chain body, combat bracelet, obby shield, dragon sword. The first one had 1300 total level, which means it's probably a hacked account. It has so many random mid-level stats. Pretty quickly after in World 374, another account appeared dressed identically. This one's stats looked much more like a bot, except it also had 101 fletching and 76 farming. The strange thing was, the accounts only reappeared once, or not at all. Like, I sat there for a good hour and a half. If they were doing treks over and over again, they'd be popping back out eventually. I found another one in full rune, and then also a suspicious ranged base account that I thought could be a bot. One theory is they're killing nail beasts in the minigame because nail beast nails are 10k each. As recently as a couple months ago, they were 20k each, but it looks like maybe this farm made the price slump. It's still like four or 500k per hour, I think. I reported the four accounts to the anti-cheating team at Jagex, who confirmed they are bots. And they found about 50 accounts in this specific bot farm whose mule was selling 70 to 100 million GP every couple days. Not exactly the most profitable farm, the anti-cheating team said they were also likely saving up points to level up skills and maybe sell the accounts, since one of the rewards from temple trekking is stored XP. However, the anti-cheating team also found another 130 bots doing temple trekking that aren't part of this specific farm. So a total of 180 bots. The farm is so well concealed that 180 bots have gone relatively unnoticed for a long time, but finally, thanks to your tip-offs, they're caught. Have you ever encountered begging bots and ever wonder how much they make? A tip came in saying they keep getting spam traded by bots at the Grand Exchange. And not level 3s, like, these bots have 250 plus total level, they might be in their combat level 40s or 50s. They're made to look like real noobs. And this is going on in World 301. When they trade you, they ask for between, you know, 10 to 200k. I checked it out and pretty quickly got spam traded and also noticed a couple other accounts doing the same thing, one of which was in the tip-off. So there are multiple begging bots dressed as noobs doing this. It's not the biggest farm, but I was so curious as to how much gold they're actually given each day. The anti-cheating team told me there are plenty of begging bots across worlds and that they collect between zero to 10 million GP per day each, depending on how busy the world they're begging in is. So this is just a PSA to stop giving bots who are just begging for gold your GP. They're not real players and some of them are making basically as much as like a runite or mining bot or a mediocre bossing bot is, 10 mil per day. Stop giving them gold. I've gotten a few tip-offs over time about this, but that there are bots cannoning the hill giants near the Shazian camp. Never found them in time before, and this tip-off specifically shows six or seven accounts with black masts and full rune. When I hopped on, I actually only found one account still there a few hours later. Nothing remarkable about its stats, 30 slayer, 40s combat stats, and only like 20 some range. But I took note of its username, as well as all the usernames of the other accounts in the tip-off, so that I could track what these bots are going to become, because cannoning here is definitely not their end game. A day later, it looks like the one I found has 39 slayer and 50 range, and higher melee stats, so it's been doing slayer. And after a few days I was looking up the other accounts in the tip-off, some of them had been banned, but a lot of them still only had 40s combat stats and close to 70 range, with only 22 slayers, so a little bit different from the one I found in-game. So there's slayer bots, but we never figured out what they're ultimately for because they've all been banned. I just got a tip about bots in free-to-play in the wilderness. Let's go check it out. Apparently, just southeast of the Ferox Enclave, there's a patch of regular bone spawns, 8 to 10 of them, that the bots are farming. They're literally just picking up an inventory of normal bones. The first spot I find seems a little bugged southwest of the bone patch, but eventually makes its way there. One thing I noticed is by the time the bot is done picking up the bones, 
the first ones they picked up have already respawned, so they actually fill up their inventory pretty quickly and don't hop worlds. The next one I find though, I decide to follow. It starts running south when it has a full inventory, but then does a U-turn back up to the Ferox Enclave. Kind of weird pathing by both bots. One guess is the pathing is actually a bit randomized to avoid detection. I double checked though and these bones only go for 50 GP each. It can't be more than 30k per hour. It just goes to show you how in free to play especially, any amount of GP per hour is enough for bots. So I'm literally banking at Edgeville Bank, and I see an account out of the corner of my eye that looks like a bot that just went down into the Edgeville dungeon. Now I'm not saying this account is a bot, but it's just wearing a combat bracelet and buyable gear. And it's heading straight for Vanica the Slayer Master. If you check its stats, it literally just has 70s combat stats, 44 prayer, and 73 slayer. I've seen bots like this before doing slayer, so I'm thinking it's a slayer bot. Less than a week later, I decided to look it up again. Look at how its stats have progressed. It has 82 slayer and mid 80s combat stats. There are so many bots at Kurasks that I thought this account would only have the slayer level required for that. But a day after this, it had 83 slayer. We gotta track this bot. The only other slayer level I can think that's bottable that it needs would be 85 for abyssal demons. Another indicator it might be a bot is the way it banks. As you can see, I'm spam clicking the equipment option so I can see what it's wearing while it's under this other player. It completely removes all of its gear after getting a task, even though it's about to just re-gear with the exact same gear and then add a spiny helmet. Now, it could be a real player that misclicked, but it's also classic bot programming to reset everything after a certain action is done. I'll leave this as a bit of a mystery. Up until the day of this upload, this account has gotten up to 87 Slayer. And for a while, I think it was getting well over 100k Slayer XP a day, pushing 250k per day at some points. It shot up from 70 to 87 Slayer in like a week and a half. The anti-cheating team hasn't responded about it, so I'm sorry non-GIM nerd if you're a real player. I'm just so curious as to what a bot with 87 Slayer might be used for.